Hello friends, welcome to the grade 7 mathematics program. This lesson deals with the second part of the chapter numbers, factors and multiples. Remember, in the first lesson we learned about the different types of numbers. And in this lesson we are going to learn about factors and HCF. We will learn how to find the HCF of two or three numbers. So today's lesson is based on factors and HCF. What do you understand by factors? I'm sure you must have come across the term factors. So let us see some real life examples of factors. Suppose your mother gives you a 200 rupee note and now you have to go to the shop. You can ask your mother to give you two 100 rupee notes. This means that 2 and 100 are in fact factors of 200. Similarly, you could have asked for 450 rupee notes. This means that 4 and 50 are factors of 200. So we can see that these are some illustrations of factors. I could even have asked for 8, 25 rupee notes. So 8 and 25 are factors of 200. Now, how to find the factors of a given number? We have two different methods which we're going to have a look at in this lesson. We're going to see how we can use the array method to find factors of a given number or we can also use the rainbow method. Consider the array method. Let us see the pair of whole numbers which gives a product of 12. You can see that we can either have 1 times 12 small squares or 12 times 1 which gives us a product of 12. Similarly, we can have 2 by 6 small squares or 6 by 2 small squares to give a product of 12. Or even 4 small squares by 3 or 3 by 4, which gives us a product of 12. So we say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are factors of 12. This means that these numbers divide the number 12 exactly. That is, there is no remainder. So how many factors does 12 have? 6 factors. So let's consider an example to illustrate the rainbow method. Find the factors of part A, 18, and part B, 30. So we need to find the numbers, two numbers, which when multiplied together gives us a product of 80. So we can see that 1 times 18 gives me 80. Similarly, 2 times 9 gives me 18. And we also have 3 times 6, which gives me a product of 18. So, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 80. You can see why we call it a rainbow method because we can see the rainbow here. So part B, I need to find the factors of 30. So we need to find two numbers which when multiplied together gives us 30. So the first one will be 1 times 30. I'm going to have a product of 30. Then we have 2 times 15, 3 times 10. Are there any other numbers which when multiplied gives us 30? Yes, 5 and 6. So the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 
6, 10, 15 and 30. So here we have illustrated the use of the rainbow method. Now let us continue. Please note that 1 and the number itself are always factors of the number. Also, every number is exactly divisible by its factors. That is, if I take a factor and the number, when I'm going to divide, there will be a remainder of 0. The number of factors is finite. If you consider the previous examples, you could have maybe found that we have here for 18, we have only 6 factors. So we have a finite number of factors. Also, every factor of a number is less than or equal to that number. So again, going back to 18, you can see that all the factors are either less than 18 or equal to 18. We cannot have a factor bigger than the number itself. You can also at home try to use GeoGebra, which is a free software, easily downloadable at home, to find factors. These are some of the steps that you can use to find factors. So you have to download the software, you open it, then you click on View, CAS, you type the numbers for which you need to find the prime factors, and you select the factors function. So here is a snapshot of GeoGebra. You can type the number for which you want to find the factors, for example here 12, and you click on the factors button that is here, and you're going to obtain the factors 2 to the power of 2 times 3. You can try for any other numbers. You can also use different links to find the factors of a given number. This is an illustration of this link and you have a snapshot. So you just type the number for which you want to find the factors and the factors are given here. Now we learned about prime numbers in the previous lesson. So let us have a look at what is meant by prime factors. Prime factors are the factors of a number which are prime numbers. For example, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. But the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3 only. Now, the process of writing a number as a product of its prime factors is called prime factorization. So, to find the prime factors of a given number, we can make use of a factor tree. Here is an example. Consider the number 12. So, the factors of 12 can be found by using what we call the factor tree. I'm going to take one example to illustrate this concept. Express 36 as a product of its prime factors. As you can see, 36 can be written as 2 times 18. Now, 2 is already a prime number, so I just keep it here. Now, 18 is 2 times 9. So, these two twos are just here, and 9 can be broken into 3 times 3. So, I have in this last row all prime numbers. So, the prime factors of 36 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Let us consider the second example. Draw and complete the factor trees below. So, 63, you have already been given 7 and you have to fill in the empty spaces. So, 7 times which number gives me 63? So, it is 9. Now, 7 is already a prime number, so I just keep it here. And 9 can be broken as 3 times 3. So, 63 can be written as 7 times 3 times 3. This is for part A. Now, for part B, 72. 
So, 72 can be written as 8 times 9. Now, 8 can be broken as 2 times 4. 9 can be written as 3 times 3. So, 2 is already a prime number. I just keep it here. 4 can be broken into 2 times 2. 3 is already a prime number. Same here. So, 72 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. The second method, using the division method. So, I have to express 24 as a product of its prime factors. So, using the division method means 24, I'm going to divide by prime numbers. So, I start with 2. 24 divided by 2 gives me 12. 12 can be div divided by 2. This gives me 6. 6 I divide by 2, I get 3. 3 can be divided by 3 to get 1. So I have to divide until I get 1. Now 24 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So these are the prime numbers 2 and 3. Now we move on to HCF. What does HCF mean? HCF means the highest common factor. That is, it is the highest common factor of two or more numbers. The largest factor which is common to these numbers. So, how do you find the HCF of two numbers? Let us consider the first method. The listing method. That is, you have to list the factors. So, if you are asked to find the HCF of 8 and 12, the first step will be to find the factors of 8 and 12. So, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So now that we have found the factors for both numbers, we need to find the common factors. We can see that 1 is common, 2 is common, and 4 also is common. So the common factors are 1, 2, and 4. Now among these three factors, which one is the highest? It is 4. So the HCF of 8 and 12 is 4. Now, let us look at a second method, that is using prime factorization. Remember, we just found how to find the prime factors. So, we are going to use this method of prime factorization to find the HCF of 8 and 12. So, 8, if I'm going to divide by 2, I get 4. Divide by 2 again, I get 2. Divide by 2 to get 1. 12, I divide by 2. 6, I divide by 2 again, I get 3. And I divide by 3 to get 1. So, 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. 12 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. Three. Now, I'm going to look at the highest common factors. That is, let us first look at the common factors. You can see that 2 is common here. 2 is common here. So, I'm going to take these two twos. However, here I don't have 2 or I don't have 3 here. So, I cannot take this 2 or this 3 as common. So the HCF is just going to be the two twos which were common. So the HCF of 8 and 12 is 4. Now, 
You can try this example. Find the HCF of 24, 30 and 36. Here you are going to see that we have three numbers. So 24, 30 and 36. You just need to proceed as before. You find the factors of 24. So I divide by 2. I get 12. Divide by 2, I get 6. I divide by 2, I get 3. And I divide by 3 to get 1. So 24 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now I find the factors of 30. I divide by 2, I get 15. I divide by 3, I get 5. And I divide by 5 to get 1. So 30 can be written as 2 times 3 times 5. Now for 36, I divide by 2. I get 18. Divide by 2 to get 9. Then I divide by 3. I get 3. And again, I divide by 3 to get 1. So 36 can be written as 2 times 2, times 3, times 3. Now I need to find the common factors. So here, 2 is common. If you look carefully, I have 2 here and here, but no 2 here. So I cannot take it as a common factor. So the next common factor is 3. So the HCF of 24, 30, and 36 is 2 times 3, that is 6. So you have learned how to find the HCF of 2 numbers and also of 3 numbers. So for today's lesson, we have learned how to find the factors of a number, how to find the prime factors of a given number, and also the HCF of either two numbers or three numbers. These are some exercises which you can practice. So you've got questions on the three different concepts which have been explained in today's lesson. Factors, prime factors and HCF. So we have reached the end of today's program. I hope that you have been able to understand the different concepts explained in today's lesson. Try to work out the different exercises given to you. So we shall meet in the next lesson, that is, we are going to deal with multiples and LCM to complete the chapter of numbers, factors and multiples. So goodbye for now.